As the winter season comes again, our hearts are turned to those we love. We huddle up within our walls, ready now for our evening event. Eon, Eon, may we have a story? Only if you are good, my darlings. And thus began our long-held tradition of listening to the one filled with wisdom. Once in a time, our ferret began, leaning back in a comfortable position. There was a small ferret, striped and proud were they. A long-held love for the Pokemon was starting to fade away. What could cause such sadness? The truth is plain to see. This figure had such hardness, trying to love the TCG. A small spark flitted by and couldn't ignore the plight. Flew off to find his friends in order to save the ferret's night. The first to answer the spark's call was a small young fellow. But a special power had he, and opened a window to the past for me. Eon, Eon, this is about you? Hush, hush, I'm losing my cool. I gazed through the portal and tears welled up. I saw the old cards that I had long forgot. How beautiful, how charming, the ferret proclaimed. How could I forget the fun of this game? The small spirit nodded, satisfied with his job, and flew off again, bumping into old Bob. Bob was jolly, fat, and round, was the second spirit to answer. His arms were filled with tins, his happiness a fanfare. For it, for it, he greeted, smiling like an old friend. Come look at my cards, the art looks just so grand. And for a moment I did gaze at Bob's good, forgetting the price and just admired their lines. The art is grand, I had to admit, but then a bit of reality hit. But not one of these work, the ferret exclaimed in dismay, for despite all their art, they had not one ounce of play. Bob paused for a moment, his heart had sunk. The beauty that worked now created a funk. The final creature arrived, most mischievous and cruel. A wink into the future it brought into the room, a jewel. This curious gem hints at what is to come. Curious, the ferret gazed on, only for dread to pour in. Oh no, how awful is this truly to be? Is there no way to prevent this reality? He shrugged and tossed the evil gen forth. I just found this, and there was no fourth. Bob stayed with me, patting my shoulder. I was sure that this end couldn't get much colder. But there from the floor, the gem glowed again revealing a beauty inside that caused me to grin. An empty box I grabbed and ran throughout my walls. All the cards I nabbed ended up inside its jaws. Confused by my flight, Rob approached me. What is the meaning of this nonsensical running? Don't you see, I proudly proclaimed, shoving the box in Bob's face. I have revived my game, I exclaimed, and raced back down to the tree. I threw open my doors, I threw open my windows, come see my cube, I proclaimed to all. Curious folks from all walks of life walked into my house that wintry night. Each one of them gained a new kind of game to play with their favorite Pokemon cards. And thus ended the tale that was traditionally told in the wintry houses of Eon. The story of one who loved Pokemon who found a way to still love their game. Happy winter holidays to everyone. I hope you all have a wonderful break and just a wonderful holiday this season. And I look forward to making more videos for you this coming year. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys all next video. Bye.